What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you what I've been eating lately and I kind of call it like a chubby Italian boy day of eating because I'm having steak, pasta, and garlic bread with some cookies. But I've been feeling pretty good eating this over the past few weeks and this is kind of like my new shtick. I know you guys see me do something for like a few months and that's how my diet has really been for the past year or so. You know, I was doing the venison stew for a while during the winter. I was doing some pasta. Then I switched to like rice and cauliflower. I, I've been a little bit all over the place. I've done like white potatoes here and there, uh, but today is a little something different. So I do have some leftover ribeye steak from earlier. This is just the regular ribeye from Frankie's Syringe Meat, seared in a pan with some salt. Our main carbohydrate source is pasta. Uh, this is my favorite one from the store. It's like five or six dollars a bag, so it's kind of expensive, but it lasts me two or three days, so you know, just a few dollars a day isn't that much. We're boiling it in some uh, Saratoga Spring bottled water, and that actually costs just as much as the pasta. So, you know, I don't really trust the water in New York, even with reverse osmosis or distillation. So that's what we're doing, and we're gonna have some garlic bread on the side here. Uh, but before I show you guys how I make the garlic bread, uh, we do also have some cookies that are in the oven. I have a uh, parchment paper on top that I used to flatten them out. So I'll take the parchment paper off, put these back in, let them get nice and crispy on top. So for the bread, you guys have seen this a lot. The bread alone, I accidentally bought the French sourdough instead of the San Francisco sourdough and the packaging is basically identical. I just wasn't paying too much of attention, but it's still pretty good. I had some earlier and for the actual garlic, we're just gonna take some coconut oil, put it in here and then some garlic powder. I tried this with like fresh garlic caramelized in a pan, but Honestly, it was a lot more work and I didn't notice too much of a difference, but you can probably do a really nice garlic infused oil if you, you know, saute the garlic in the pan until it's nice and brown and crispy. Let that infuse in the oil for a couple of days, leave the garlic in there. You can have something really nice, but this is really fast, really easy, and to me it's still pretty good. So I'll take that garlic oil and I'll just, I try not to put too much on because when it's a lot of oil, kind of causes some digestive issues. So I just try to stick to like a tablespoon per slice of bread. So sometimes I do like 375, sometimes I broil it. Doesn't really matter. It kind of comes out the same. Pasta, I really try to make sure it's al dente. I don't overcook it. So we got the pasta almost ready. The steak is done. Cookies and garlic bread in the oven. The only other meal component is going to be the water kefir, uh, which I have enough of for about a week here. And then as I go through it, I'll have some more here. Hopefully I can actually start selling you guys the actual water kefir within two weeks. That, that's my goal right now. I forgot the enzymes as well. So here we have the, the enzymes and the mastic gum, uh, which I will be taking with this meal. All right, so for the pasta, we'll strain it. Strained pasta goes in a steel bowl. Now this pasta gets the same treatment as the garlic bread. So I'll put like a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of garlic, a pinch of salt, and I'll just mix that all up. Almost forgot, I do put a little bit of cracked black pepper in the pasta. So if you make your water kefir properly and do a second ferment in the bottle like I do, which means you, know, you take the first ferment kefir, you put it back in the bottle, you add a little bit more sugar to it, it's gonna be heavily, heavily carbonated. So hypothetically, if I sell this to you guys, this is what to expect. I usually run some water on this, let it sit in the sink for maybe two or three minutes. It's not a crazy amount of carbonation, like that's it. You know, you only lose a little bit but this is gonna keep coming up. It won't stop. You can see how active this is. So what you do is now you close it and then it should settle down. So we just pulled the garlic bread out of the oven. That's a lot darker than I usually let it go, but it's still good, nice and caramelized. This is the main component of the meal, the steak, the pasta, and the garlic bread. We also just took our cookies out of the oven, which are nice and caramelized as well. After this sits on the counter for like 30 seconds, I'll pop it in the freezer just to cool it off quicker. My freezer here. 
and I'll just put it in there and then close it. And then when I'm done with the meal, the cookie should be cool enough to eat. So this is my second meal today. I was so tired and exhausted earlier that I didn't film it. I just basically made the same thing, ate, and then laid down a couple hours, which means I'm probably not gonna eat as much as that first meal and this meal. I usually never do. Uh, but I basically just take a bite of steak, a little bit of pasta, some garlic bread. So let me go over each of these components to give you guys a better understanding of why I'm eating them. Steak, protein, B vitamins, highly available minerals. I mean, yeah, I mean, how many videos have I done on why the carnivore diet's good for you? Doesn't really need much more explaining in the context of my YouTube channel. The bread and the pasta is our carbohydrate, macronutrient energy, very important to feed our gut bacteria. And also you have a, a higher volume of food so you can kind of push things through. And then the kefir, is protein, B vitamins, and more importantly, highly active bacteria that will help us digest and absorb the carbohydrates in this meal, basically turning them into B vitamins and protein in our digestive tract. I actually haven't really been eating cookies with some meals if I have the garlic bread, so. All right, so I grabbed my digestive enzymes and mastic gum, and I'm gonna take this as lazy as possible, so. I'm gonna put maybe a, a spoonful of digestive enzymes in my mouth and then drink the kefir. Doesn't really have any flavor to it. And then I'm gonna take a handful of mastic, not a handful, but maybe like a half a teaspoon and then I'm gonna chew it up a little bit, crush it. And swallow it down. Now, depending on the size of the meal, you can do that twice, but I think for this meal, once should be enough. So in addition to that, in the morning, I usually have my magnesium oil spray with some ascorbic acid. And then intermittently throughout the week, I'll supplement some other uh, minerals and vitamins like K2 and uh, copper, selenium. So you guys can get all that stuff on organ supplements and also see the other stuff I take on organ supplements. So I'm gonna try to relax and eat the rest of this meal. Uh, you guys can go to frank if you have questions about any of the products or anything here today, but uh, that'll be it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.